Welcome back to our channel. My name is Casey. And I'm Anthony. And we're Dos Cabasos, and this is Season 2, Episode 4 of One Punch Man. So, last episode, Saitama met Garo. Uh, wasn't very much competition for him. I wonder what that's going to do to Garo. Like, is mm -hmm. that going to set, like, a fire under his stomach, like, already here? I mean, he already kind of has one, but I wonder if it's even going to ignite even bigger. Um, <laughs> Saitama's joining, like, this fighting competition now, and he got a wig. Uh, yeah, so, we'll see how that's yeah. all about. <laughs> So I feel like it's easy to get caught up in like the apath apathy of Saitama's character, you know, how he's just kind of like, ah, like, ah. and it's easy to forget that the reason he is like that is because he's so strong and he never really has any competition and mm -hmm. he cares so much about being a hero that he's kind of like losing, I don't know, he, it's almost like you just, you're so good at something, but you never have a chance to really do it to the point where that's the cause of his character. Um... And I feel like starting the season, we kind of, not forgot about it, but it, it's almost like you get so caught up in yeah. how he's so like, oh, hey, you know, like his dry sense of humor that you kind of forget. Um, but going forward, I wonder if maybe Garo or someone is going to kind of rev that back up in him, you yeah. know, like it's kind of like it's kind of unrelated, but kind of related. Like when you play like a video game and you get like so good at it that it just kind of gets a little bit boring. Yeah, like I like feel like yeah. a little bit like through the first season, like that's kind of like the vibe that we had got from him, you know, just kind of like going through the motions doing it. But he's getting, he's showing a little bit more emotion this season than he did in the first season. All right, well, if you haven't already, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you can stay notified for all of our future videos. Also, head over to our Patreon where we have full interactions as well as other exclusive content. The full interaction, the next few episodes of One Punch Man are actually over there right now, so if you want to check that out, the link's down in the description below. All right, let's go ahead and get into it. That's when he was a kid, Garo. Uh, oh, man, that lame theme song means Justice Man is here. Just when it's getting good, the hero always... Oh, my gosh, it. he's like a reverse Deku. <laughs> Rooting for the villain. It's not fair. Why doesn't any monster have a chance against Justice Man? <laughs> what? Heroes never lose? Really? Why not? Why does good always have to win? Monsters have things they want too. And monsters try. They try really hard. I root for them. What about what I think? Monsters are cool too. <laughs> Why should the popular win while, while the, the hated, hated lose? lose? It's tragic. Origin story. Then I will become the strongest monster, and I'll lose to no one. It's pissed off. Is that where sight to my left? Uh, <gasps> the hell am I doing here? You woke up the next day. What happened last night? It's all so fuzzy. The directors are the conduits to our sponsors. Their safety takes precedence. Act as an executive's bodyguard? I refuse. <laughs> Video games. Because I'm already in the middle of a big battle, okay? I'm counting on you to protect us today. Oh, bat. Metal bat. It seems association executives are targets too now, apparently. Is this sea urchin? The color is off-putting. Perhaps they have caviar. Snobby. Medium fatty tuna? Is any kind other than extra fatty tuna even edible? <laughs> Stop doing that! One more time and this bat tastes blood. <laughs> <laughs> Negan. He acts like Negan, yeah? It's Lucille. <laughs> that Lucille went plus ultra, it's metal. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, what is Pretty that, a sure lobster? That not him. That's the Hero Association executive, all right. And that must be his kid. Oh. A lobster and a leaf. I don't think so. <laughs> Neither one of them is going anywhere, understand? No. <laughs> they haven't paid their bill yet. <laughs> All right, please write in your fighting style. Fighting style? He's like, badass. Huh. One punch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're Chironko from the dojo, right? Oh, crap, someone who knows Chironko. Well, I don't blame you for being nervous. After all, you never could beat me, could ya? <laughs> He's gonna beat you this time. That jerk better not be competing in my place. Nah, he wouldn't be that stupid. <laughs> his hair looks nothing like his. Are you friends with Saitama? A masked fighter named Wolfman won the championship. Mm, but Beowulf. afterwards, the real Wolfman was found unconscious. The winner <gasps> was a fake. Garo? And because of that, registration under an alias and use of That's hardware was strictly prohibited. Huh? What's the matter? No way. You. This is like super sweat. Know exactly who the fake Wolfman was too! <laughs> Studied his fighting technique in a video. There's no doubt. The fake wolfman was Garo. Yep. Garo. 
I told you not to call me Mister. Now lend me that book. I told you to get your own. <laughs> <laughs> it was on a day when Master Bang was out. I'm finished. Huh? There's nothing left for me to learn here. It's a waste of time. Let's fight for real. Oh, shit. An amateur wouldn't stand a chance in this tournament. He'd likely get himself killed. There's nothing to fear. Huh? He's a hero. Aww. I took on Garo by myself. That's why I'm here. To get rid of that guy for good. And if he keeps up his hero hunting, we're gonna meet one day. <laughs> Someone who runs off shouldn't be acting like a big shot. You're gonna eat those words, you hear me? A real fight, huh? The hair. I honestly don't remember what they're like. <laughs> That's really sad, actually. Did you see that before? Oh. He sure showed those monsters! These people, Trap and I were no match for you. But we knew that before the fighting ever started. Did he say Venus people trap? <laughs> What did it just do? Did it grow? I will avenge you. What, what the hell? Did it like break Senti out of like a- Senpai? Like a centipede? Is it the same one or does it like, did it break out of a cocoon or something? Venus people <laughs> trap. <laughs> oh wait, <laughs> it looks like a Pokemon. <laughs> it does. Gloom, right? Yeah. Just smash them and be done with it. Lucille's thirsty. He'd never use a false identity and break the rules. <laughs> He's a hero. And oh, this is the dog. Watchdog man. Watchdog cute, man. Isn't he? <laughs> he is so cute. Class S rank 12, huh? He keeps watch over City Q from his lookout in Watchdog Plaza. Cool. You can <laughs> hanging out there. So cute. This is the thing that they're reporting the threat of, right? Yeah. I think. I would assume. I mean, there's nothing else. Ah! Dang, Metal Bot's cool. What are you disgusting bugs after? What could they possibly be worth to you? Defeat us and we may tell you. Uh oh. Silence. That was brutal. He <sighs> got senti smacked. Did he just hit himself? Really? He did it for <gasps> a reason. He's Batman. Uh -huh. <laughs> Get it? Yeah, Batman. <laughs> Once my fighting spirit's up, I can take almost anything. Oh! <laughs> I did him like Glenn. <laughs> Damn! Like oh my Garo's God! Gonna show up though. He's crazy. Garo's gonna show up. Ah huh? oh, crap! I forgot to find out what they were after. <laughs> oh my gosh! We're here to help. <laughs> We'll fight Pineapple. Those monsters with you. Pineapple. <laughs> the rings. <laughs> Put him on pizza. An even bigger oh one. Oh my gosh! It's the giant bug monster, Sentacharo. Oh, Sentacharo? What? It's freaking hard. <laughs> Cause it has a shell. Yeah. It's coming after us! Wait, look on top! Hell yeah! Hit it in its eye. Killer move! Fighting spirit! Dragon Pummelin! Get it. Oh. Wait, what? <laughs> Is that its move? <laughs> Level Dragon's insane! Mankind was never meant to face a monster like this! <laughs> I wonder if Metal Bat will still be alive by the time I find him. <gasps> there he is. So some other monster got to beat up a Class S, huh? I wasted my time. Uh, back to the grind. <laughs> Metal Bat, hold up. You're not dead yet? Huh? He's gonna try to kill him. Because <laughs> he wants my to be the monster. Class S hero. From here on, you face me. <laughs> I'm hunting you. Huh? Get real, dipshit. Can't you see that centipede? Get your ass! You can see I'm busy here. I can spare a little time <laughs> and crack you wide open. Think everyone will be okay there? Ladies, pardon me. Got a question mm -hmm. for you. Headed to Super Fight? If so, would you mind if I tag along? 
way, aren't you? It's him! Cool. So, yeah? Cool. Okay, whoever that is. I feel like Saito was going to We don't know that person him. yet, do I don't we? think so, no. So this episode, we focused a lot on Metal Bat, yeah. who is actually pretty cool. Very... Really awesome fighter. He really is an awesome fighter. He reminds me a lot of Negan from The Walking <laughs> Dead. Uh, yeah. Not just the bat, but it's pretty much like the whole whole look of him with like yeah. the jacket, like the red thing that goes under it, too. It's interesting to see uh, Garo's motivation, like the backstory slightly mm. was like, you know, watching... Growing up, he always wanted like the, the monster the, to win. Yeah, he wanted the like, heroes to lose. Yeah, and it, it's not like he calls them villains necessarily, because I don't really think that's his thing. I mean, I could be wrong, but he, you know, he's like thinks of them as monsters, and yeah. I think he thinks of himself like of the monster, like he's going to be the best monster. Which, it's such an interesting dynamic there, because you never really see people just like, you know, idolize like the, the bad guy in the situation. Like, you know, he kept getting disappointed that the hero would come in there and yeah. and like beat up the monster or whatever the thing that he was watching whether it be like real life or I don't know if that was a movie or whatnot um but um it's kind of like a lot of like I, I compared it to like my hero how Deku idolized All Might he's idolizing like super villains which is weird <laughs> but it's interesting though to see that dynamic you can tell in season two we get to focus a little bit more on like the other characters or the other heroes involved mm -hmm. um instead of just Saitama which, I mean, we love Saitama, obviously. It is cool to see the rest of them, though. Um, and also, you get to see that they aren't just, like, super... Like, just because Saitama's crazy, insanely talented and, like, you know, like, strong doesn't mean that the other ones aren't strong either, you know? Just because he's leagues above them doesn't mean that they still aren't worthy of Class S. And I feel like that's something that we haven't really gotten to see yet. Yeah. Um, so it's cool that we do be, we're able to, like, expand upon that and kind of see that in some of these heroes, especially Metal Bat, a.k.a. Batman. <laughs> to me, a.k.a. Negan. Um, <laughs> but uh, it was also weird to me to see, like, Garo, like, not remember that he got into, like, an altercation with Saitama. And then Saitama pretty much just brushed it off. He's like, oh, I keep hearing of Garo. Uh, so it's like we almost have to anticipate, like, another meeting of them at some point down the road, too, because you know what's going to happen. All right, well, if you haven't already, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you can stay notified for all of our future videos. Also, head over to our Patreon where we have full length reactions as well as other exclusive content. The full length reaction, the next few episodes of One Punch Man are actually over there right now, so if you want to check that out, the link's down in the description below. All right, we'll see you next time. Bye, everyone. <laughs>